Hey boys and girls, welcome back to our virtual VBS. This is day three. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the past two days <clears throat> and the things that we've been able to do, our skits, our puppets, our singing. Uh, we've had a great time doing this and we hope that you will enjoy the rest of the days. Um, today's lesson and today's theme is on avoiding foolish behavior. The scripture is from Proverbs 9 verse 6 and that says, Forsake foolishness and live and go in the way of understanding. I don't know about y'all, but I know in life I've done some foolish things, um, things that I've, I've learned from and been able to uh, improve my life after looking back on it and, and knowing that um, I can do better. Um, there might be times in your life where you've disobeyed your parents, you've done something that, that they didn't want you to do, and maybe you've gotten in trouble, maybe um, it was at school with, with a teacher or uh, a grandparent, whatever the case may be. Uh, you've gone through life and you've done something you know you shouldn't have done. Well, <clears throat> the Bible is full of information, full of things to help us learn how to avoid foolish behavior, especially in the book of Proverbs. Um, we hope that uh, you will take uh, today and the next couple of days and continue to learn from that, that book, continue to take things that we've uh, studied. I hope that you will enjoy today and uh, we'll now get into some singing. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. We're back. There we go. All right. Uh, it's BBS all time. Let's see. One, two. I think so. All right, the first one we're going to do is, uh, what was it again? I forgot. What are we singing? My God is so big and so small. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Right. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, and the valleys are His, and the trees are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Awesome. Oh, no, it's too low. What's the other one I wanted to do? I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me about the Jesus? I'm all That's wrapped up. That's it. That's Let's a good job. Our, our crowd right. is still. All right. <clears throat> wrapped up, taken up in Jesus. Here we go. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all taken up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all taken up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all taken up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, taken up in God. Oh, yeah. Then we do it faster. Ten years ago, probably. Yeah, let's try. Let's see how fast. There we go. Ready? Ready. All wrapped up. All tied 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 up. So, day one, we made our listening ears. Day two, you have your treasure box ready. And today, since you have been talking about gems of Proverbs, we made a little coloring book for you to color and follow along as you're listening to the story. Inside here, you have lots of different gems you can color. When the um, VBS is over, you can have your parent read you all of the scriptures that go with each one. On the back, it has a place that you can trace. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and trace a scripture and color it in. And then also on the back, it has our scripture that goes with it. So if you have some crayons or markers, um, even you could use some light color paint, um, you can color and do your whole entire color look for our day three of crafts. Clue number three. This clue is an assignment you must complete. An assignment? Great. This is just like school. <coughs> this assignment isn't like school. Miss Marlena needs to build. Needs us to build a tower of blocks. Uh, finish finish this for her classroom. Uh, this will be easy. Okay, let's get organized. Organized? It's a tower. Let's just throw it together. If Mr. Keel. Mr. Keel wants us to do this, then we need to do a good job, Ethan. Uh, I'm, I'm with Ethan. Let's get this done as fast as we can so we can get the prize, get the treasure, and all that good stuff. Maybe we should split up, Joe. Uh, Keith, 
you and I will, will make ours and the other two will make theirs. Mr. Kill can pick which one to use. Fine. So give us half the blocks and we'll make ours on this chair. Y'all got you your, your tower, okay. and we'll do our tower. But cheap. Okay. So, I'll tell you what. Oh, it's going to start building the blocks. So, okay, we need we need the big blocks for the base first. Is that, is that? Then the small blocks. All right, all right. I think we got this figured out. Yeah. Then the small blocks. Yeah, all right. What about, what about right here? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Did you hear about? Did you that. hear about Mary Emma? She got caught skipping places in the lunch line. I heard she was in big right. trouble. Right. Okay. No way. I saw her in the office at school, but I didn't know why. Look at this. You know who else was in the uh, yeah, principal's yeah. office? Jack. <laughs> he was in big trouble for <laughs> running really fast in the hallways at school. Well, did you hear about Bonnie Jean? Oh. She was crying oh. in the hallway yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, and Ellie oh, and Braden broke that. up. They had a huge argument because Braden was sitting next to Harper in That's lunch. Good. That is pretty good. <laughs> We're done. How about you guys? Ooh, high five. We're done. Done. Done so. Done so. We're done. How about y'all? We're done. Look at our masterpiece. Be fine. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. You wreck it, Ralph. You wreck it. I'm sorry guys, it's just interesting to talk about other people, but I know it's wrong, I promise to do better. Uh, stop, 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 please just stop. Can we help you guys? Okay, sounds great. Ethan is all thumbs. I, I see it, that, you know, it's important to work hard and work together and, and do your best. Ethan and I got distracted by the things we were talking about, our conversation, so. You mean gossiping. Uh, we heard you guys talk about all your friends. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to remember to never tell you guys a secret. I'm sorry, guys. It's just interesting to talk about other people, but I know it's wrong, and I promise to do better. Me too. Great. Now let's move these blocks to the floor like our blocks, and, and, and so we'll make sure that these blocks, like everything has a firm foundation, okay? That's it. We need a foundation, a good foundation like the Bible, story of the wise and the foolish builders. Oh. oh yeah, the wise builder built this house on a rock so it had a good foundation. That's right. And the foolish builder, the foolish builder built his house on an unsteady foundation. It's like the song. The you wise know, man so built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the wise man's house stood firm. We need a soprano. We need <laughs> oh, the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went splat. So, build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So, build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So, build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Oh, the blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So, build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. I guess we were the foolish builders in this yeah. case. If we just worked as a team and not been arguing, we'd be done by now. True. True. So true. So very true. Thanks for listening to the song. We had to sing you guys. So let's get to working together. And this tower is going to be finished Absolutely. in no time at all. <laughs>
this little blocks over here. Yeah. The blocks come, guys. Man, Look at this tower. The tower. Well, slow down, Wreck It Ralph. We don't want you to tear the tower up again. Remember, we gotta be wise in our building. It's gotta be up to code. We have to meet. We have to meet Ken Code. If we don't meet Ken Code, we're just gonna fall down. Mr. Look, look at that. Like it. Look at that. Woo! That's oh. good looking. Power. That, it's even got a little bit of level to it. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, All right. Great job, kids. Thank Thanks, you for Ms. helping Marlena. me get this ready for Bible class. Thank you, Miss Marlena. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to give you this. That's awesome. The fourth clue. We want to welcome you back to our VBS online, and I think we have some friends that are going to help us with this lesson today. We're going to knock and try and wake them up, because I think they're asleep. <laughs> wake up, guys. <laughs> you something? hear something? I don't know. What was that? Awake. Sammy, what was that? I don't know, Buford. You look. Somebody's at the door. I'm scared. Hello? I got a big head. I'll look. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there. Oh! Come on, I Buford, see someone come on, over Buford. there. Who is it? I think it's Mr. Ethan. Hey! Hey! hey. There's our friends. Where's Mr. Jeremy? Mr. Where's Jeremy is out today. Where's Mr. Joe? Mr. Yeah, Joe yeah, is Mr. out Joe. today, too. They're working on VBS. That's okay. We oh. like you. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> like you, too, Mr. <laughs> Ethan. We like you, too. Oh, you already know my name. Yeah, you're yeah. Mr. Ethan. Well, I think your name is Mr. Buford, and your name is Mr. <sighs> Sammy. <sighs> No! 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 no. What? No. You're Buford and you're Sammy. I'm Buford! I'm Sammy! Oh, I got your names backwards. <sighs> well, that wasn't very smart, was it? It's okay. No. Well, in today's lesson, we're talking about avoiding foolish behavior. Oh. And how can we avoid foolish behavior? Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> Go on again, Don't do it. <laughs> well, this week we've been talking a lot about gems and Solomon. And what does Solomon tell us? And Proverbs 9-6, do you like, know? Like, like Jim, my barber? No. no, not Jim, your barber. What kind of gyms are we talking about? Basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Mr. Ethan, can we go play basketball? No, not Please. the basketball gym. Uh, what gyms are we talking about? You know. We're talking about the beauty of what we find in God's Word. And that's and, right. And Proverbs, too. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Proverbs. So do you know what Proverbs 9-6 says? Mm, I don't have my Bible. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Proverbs 9 6 says, Forsake foolishness and live, and go on in the way of understanding. Mm. So, does God want us to be foolish, or does He want us to understand? He wants us to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand, yes. understand. He wants us to understand. Do our parents want us to understand, or do they want us to be foolish? They, they want, want us, us to understand. <laughs> they want understand. us to understand. Understand. Because what happens when we don't understand when they tell us to clean our rooms? I get in trouble. We get in trouble. trouble. We don't like getting in trouble. Xbox is gone. Xbox is gone. Mm -hmm. So did Jesus understand or was he foolish? No. Oh, he was so, so smart. Yes. He was smart. He understood. He was really smart. So if we want to be like Jesus, we have to understand too, right? Right. So Sammy, Buford, what have we learned today? Well, we learn to not be foolish. Don't be foolish, no. Don't be, be foolish. But understand. Understand because God wants us to understand. Yeah. Be like Jesus. That's right. We want to thank you for coming to our VBS today. And we want to thank Sammy and Buford for helping us learn to understand and not be foolish. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.